What's up, you guys? It's your boy DK Hammonds here. And I wanted to come. Some people ask me, what are the things that you're using to film um, live video, whether it be through Facebook Live, Periscope, IG, whatever have you. So I wanted to come on tonight and share with each of you what I'm using um, to kind of reach the masses. The first thing that I'm using is a first thing that I'm using is a microphone. The microphone of my preference is a blue snowball. Uh, it, it allows you to do um, podcasting. It allows you to do videos. It allows you to do everything. You can have two people talking at the same time and the sound is immaculate. So I recommend that you use a blue um, microphone. Now, there is another application and I'll post it within the video where you can actually buy um, lapel mics uh, for shirts and for clients, for guests on your show or for yourself, uh, or even while you're in the car, you can buy a lapel mic for 99 cent. That's gonna be the go-to that I'll drop in the link actually within the video and I'll share it with you as well. The next thing that I, that I use is I use lighting. And so the lighting that I have is actually a lighting set that I got off of Amazon. I think I, I I got off of Amazon and it came with five sets of lights. The lights allow me to have the soft light approach. If I don't want the soft light approach, uh, I do have the uh, soft boxes where I can have it like this, or I can have a more softer approach where it's good. And so I'll bring this actual light so you can see what it looks like um, going forward, things of that nature. So this is kind of what the light looks like. Uh, and I actually have two of these. Uh, this allows me to do my filming. It goes in and out. And if I bring it in real close, you can see kind of the arrow, the trajectory of where you want the lighting. So that's cool. I also have some photo lights that come with it. Uh, in my home, I have a railing system that allows me to do the green, white, or black screen, whichever one I prefer. Or this one, I kind of like this one because it's a, a real smooth background. So it allows me to do that. Um, again, that costs nothing. Uh, I'm using my Apple MacBook Pro um, to film the actual video. Mac created a great camera system. Not only do I use MacBook Pro, but I use my cell phone and I use iPads to do a lot of my filming and recording. So you don't have to go rush out to buy a DSLR um, or Canon or an Nikon unless you just honestly want to. But if you're balling on a budget, this stuff will be absolutely excellent for you. So again, I'm going to post the actual videos themselves, let you see what I've bought, where I got it from, how much it is. And I'm almost certain you can buy most of this stuff with an exception of the uh, laptop and the cell phone, of course, for almost under 200 bucks, uh, which is unheard of. So you have to get out there and kind of shop around to see what best suits your needs. So that's kind of what I use. Um, in terms of graphics, I use Canva. Now, I've kind of grown up, I've, I've gone through camera, Canva, I've used everything that they have for free, but now I use Canva Workspace, which gives me more stuff to do. I can create GIFs and even movies through Canva. Canva has a great platform, um, and I definitely suggest if you want more graphics, more things to do, Canva would be the way you need to go. Um, I'm trying to think what else do I need? Oh, oh, I'm using, I also will be using ScreenFlow. Uh, ScreenFlow is an excellent tool as well. It allows you to put in the lower thirds. Uh, it allows you to add other videos, make the video more popping, more appealing. And I'll show you my, an intro video that I did for my wife and her new website that she'll have coming out soon. So that's kind of the things that I'm using. Uh, let me know what you're using. Uh, love to hear about it. Let's see if it's cost effective and if it works, I'd definitely be willing to buy it as well.